I came down to Justin's studio today to take a look at the progress on the statue. And what I'm standing in front of is a big blank comic book page made out of clay. Um, and he's just beginning to work on the detailing on that. This is because this is not going to be a Harvey P. Carr statue. It's going to be about comics as an art and, lit and art literature as a form. So Harvey's stepping off a comic book page is just an element in a comic book story about how comics are words and pictures. You can do anything with words and pictures. Um, the design that Justin's working from, and I'll stick in an illustration of that somewhere on this Kickstarter page, is uh, by J.T. Waldman, the artist who did work on Harvey's uh, Not the Israel My Parents Promised Me. And <clears throat> I, besides bringing my coal down here, I brought uh, something that I want to give to this. I've got, John, I've got Justin Coulter and I've got Ron Dewey, who is, I guess, Justin's mentor, or Yoda, who's uh, helping to keep this on tr track. And he's a uh, monument sculptor himself. Um, and so he's the guy, the responsible grown-up that I'm going to give this to. This is my wedding ring. I took it off because I want it to become part of the statue. You keep it. You don't take it down to the pawn shop and <laughs> trade it in for... Uh, Another amplifier, or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I wanted to. I want to know how can we use this? Because uh, can we just dump it in? What would, what could what could we do with this? Okay, there are several things that could be done. Gold melts at about the same temperature as copper. Mm -hmm. So if we throw this in with the bronze, which is basically a copper alloy, it will melt and disperse throughout the material. So it could be, and as these two pieces will be poured separately, it could be all in the figure, or it could be all in the, the uh, background. <coughs> I'd probably that like, if you do that, I'd like it to be in the figure. I mean, yeah, that I would be like one use for it. Yeah. Another use for it would be to turn it into uh, s some kind of a wire that we could TIG weld into the figure at some point, mm -hmm. or it could be, Justin suggested, part of the shoelace yeah. on the shoe. The shoelaces and, you know, which is, you know, yeah. which are at this point properly to Harvey untied. The only thing I'm worried about is the idea of vandalism. That somebody well, we would, would put it on a location where it was laying against the shoe so it could be silver so soldered in place. Okay, so it, it can't could be not be removed. Yeah. Okay, because, yeah. I, mean, I mean, we've had you know, legendary thefts of monuments. I mean, they poured a little blind Helen Keller at the Botanical Gardens. They picked her little bronze body up and carried her down to the junkyard or something. And I don't know. I've heard stories about kids rolling heads of Abraham Lincoln or Booker T. Washington mm -hmm. down well, the We did a couple of replacements of the ones right, from the just recently in the, yeah. in the finished so, garden. So, you know, and I mean, there's... I don't want to plant ideas in people, but we all know what happens to big statues of Big Boy in the state of Ohio. They end up on people's, you know, roofs and stuff like that. So if we do that, if we make it a design element, let's just make it solid. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me with this project. It's, uh, it's a lot of work. Um, where are we at now with the figures? You, the mold has been, molds yeah, the, are being the made for the figure, are, right? Because are done. Right. We're ready to pour the figure, the rubber mold on the figure. Um, probably it'll be done you know, either tomorrow or the next. Okay. Well, I'm not. Go I'm going on the road to SPX, and uh, I'll see people there. We can always send you pictures too. Yes, yeah, so yeah. you And hold on to that ring. <laughs> Thank you, Lee, for shooting this.